Hi, my name is Shira Rubinoff. I'm here with Kavita Segal, Program Director, Hybrid Cloud on IBM Z and Linux One Lead. Kavita, pleasure to be speaking with you today. Thank you for having me here. Of course. So Kavita, what are the business drivers prompting IT organizations to move to containers and Kubernetes? Great question. So um, there are multiple benefits. Uh, and you can see that whole industry is moving towards containers and Kubernetes um, because it is giving a lot of business benefits. A um, couple of ones that really are, are coming on the top of the list in general in our discussions is time to market and speed of innovation, yeah. right? And because containers and Kubernetes, they, they are really providing the agility that the clients are looking for. Um, and then it's also about business continuity and then resiliency. Right. Resiliency is very important because when you're offering your, your applications to your end clients, you want to make sure you're resilient. Um, and in addition to that, there, there are a few other ones like the clients that definitely are, it's really resonating with the clients is it's maximizing their revenue with the simplified IT operations and management. Right. That's the key. It really, yeah, that is the key, right? You want to make sure everything is more automated. It's more simplified. Um, and then it is definitely then going to give them a, a huge benefit. Certainly. And being about portability and then flexibility. We generally call it with an IBM, you build once and deploy everywhere, mm -hmm. right? So, or deploy anywhere. It's your choice where you want to deploy it. So building once and deploying anywhere is key. That's where mm -hmm. portability comes in. Um, so that portability, the flexibility, it really brings in the business values to our clients. So Kavita, can you give an example of how customers are using Red Hat OpenShift on Z, as well as can you talk about the importance of the flexibility to choose where to deploy workloads? Absolutely. Again, another great question. Um, we have multiple clients who are engaged with adopting OpenShift on IBM Z. Um, again, 85% of, of corporate data resides um, on mainframe. And then it is all about the law of physics, right? Law of physics, gravity, uh, advocating the data gravity. So data gravity is really big. That's res resonate with many of our clients. One of the, the, the biggest adoption patterns that we are seeing in the market is co-location. Mm -hmm. While you're modernizing your applications, you want to make sure, the clients want to make sure they are taking a minimum risk mm -hmm. uh, and there is least impact to the end clients. Or there should be absolutely no impact to their end clients. Sure. Right. So in, in working towards the modernization, the response time of the applications and meeting enterprise SLAs is very critical. Mm -hmm. So what our clients are doing, and then one specific example, which is uh, being adopted by multiple clients, is really bringing your containerized workloads running on OpenShift mm -hmm. um, on Linux on Z environment, which is co-located with ZOS. And that's where the, the key data is residing. When you're bringing your applications closer to the ZOS applications and data, you're going to really get to the much better response time. And one of the areas where we actually have done some internal analysis, as well as with some clients, um, the data showed that they got 7x, much, 7x better latency, which means wow. 7x better response time. That's significant numbers. It is significant number. And then that's why it is resonating with a lot of our clients. And then they are adopting the specific patterns. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to flexibility, yeah. um, so right now the clients have a lot of choices. You can deploy your workloads on your choice of architecture, mm -hmm. which could be x86, which could be IBM Z, or could be power systems. Mm -hmm. But you can deploy there, or you can deploy to any public cloud. And then you, there, there's also a choice between how you want to deploy your workloads. So you can deploy in containers or you can, or can still continue to deploy in traditional environment, mm -hmm. but you still want to have a cloud-like experience. Sure. So hybrid cloud is all about providing this flexibility of where you want to deploy your workloads and how you want to deploy your workloads. OpenShift on IBM <clears throat> platforms through IBM is a great example of really about the the flexibility that I'm just talking about, sure. because it runs everywhere. Uh, it, it runs on multiple clouds. It, it actually supports multiple architectures, including IBM Z. And, and that's where it's really making a huge difference. So this is where the flexibility comes in and that which our clients are really um, eager to exploit. So I would call it 
Red Hat OpenShift really providing the flexibility with consistency. Well, consistency and flexibility is key. That's for certain. And certainly the importance of flexibility in today's world and how we're moving so quickly um, within the world, the organizations, the technology, and just having the access, but flexibility in that access and having consistency in what's being provided sounds like a winning hit over here. So that's that's critical. So thank you for that. And then just to add to that, when you have consistency, you don't have to worry about the skills, right? So you you can have this, you can leverage the same development skill, operational skills across the board. So that's that's where consistency and the flexibility really comes in. So yeah, great question again. Oh, thank you. Good to know. Excellent. And what do IBM Cloud Packs add to Red Hat OpenShift? So again, IBM Cloud Packs actually are really adding a great value on top of it. OpenShift provides you this Kubernetes platform with a lot of features and functions that are required to really have your, have your platform really functioning in an automated environment. But then it comes to having really deploying your workloads on top of it, your continuous solutions on top of it. And you need to have your tool chains, your runtimes, uh, and giving again the flexibility, right? The choice that you need to have. Uh, Cloud Packs are certified to run on OpenShift. They are giving you the automation that you need um, in, in addition to providing these workloads, containerized workloads, you're, there are cloud packs for multi-cloud management that really giving you a single pane of glass to manage your workloads across multiple clouds, multiple architectures, in, and, and containers and virtual machines. So think about the flexibility there, right? Sure. So having these cloud packs on running on top of OpenShift environment is really bringing everything together and giving a single pane of glass for our clients to manage their uh, their cloud native workloads across the board. Well, it's a great way that you illustrated it to our listeners and I'm sure that it's very well received. And it's such a pleasure speaking with you today, Kavita. Thank you for your information share. Thank you for your time and my pleasure to be here too. Thank you, look forward to talking to you again soon.